What is good you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. We have a new car to car arena merge. We finally have a new one so we can merge all these new cool cars like the one behind us here in a car to car merge. Alright, so you obviously do need an arena for this. You also do need a friend. Unfortunately, this is not solo. And you want to have the car that you're going to be taking all the modifications from and putting them on to already set up in the arena, preferably on the garage level. So what we need to do here is we need to glitch out our friend. So if you remember this from the old Give Cars to Friends method, we are going to be using the impromptu race. So our friend in the passenger seat right now is going to be in the PlayStation Store on Shark Cards. Once we've done that, we're going to pull up our interaction menu, pull up the car right to the front of the bump bunker where the yellow circle would be, and we want to click X on Impromptu Race. Once we do that, our friend is actually going to kick from the car. He can then back out of shark cards and then get back in. And then all you want to do is go ahead and drive away. Now once you're far enough away over here on the highway, you want to start up a quick job. Now your friend in the passenger seat is going to join you and they want to accept the first alert and sit on the second alert. So once you start populating, your friend can go ahead and join you either through the PlayStation menu, through the party, or through the friends list, doesn't matter. And they just want to stay on that second alert. Now, all you have to do is you want to go back to your bunker, walk in and walk out just to get your interaction menu back. All right, now once you have your interaction menu back, you are good to go and work your way over to the arena. So you can either register as a CEO and fly a buzzard over. My buzzard died, so I end up having to get into a streetcar and driving down there. So however you get down there, it doesn't matter. Just do not request, obviously, a personal vehicle because your friend is still sitting in your car right now in the passenger seat, sitting on that second alert. Now, once you get to the arena, you want to make sure you go to the workshop level. You don't want to go into... B1 or B2 while you're doing this, especially when your friend is in the arena with you because that will unglitch him. Also, do not go exit with all because that will also unglitch him. So once you're in your arena, you can go ahead and send him an invite to join you in the arena. So what he wants to do once he does, once you tell him, okay, I've sent you an invite, he is going to go ahead and accept that second alert now that he's been sitting on. It's going to bring him back down from the clouds. And then all he wants to do is pull up your phone or his phone and go ahead and accept the invite to the arena. Now, once we're both in the arena, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to run over to the car that you want to put the mod or take the modifications from and pull it into the actual arena workshop. So our friends in here now, I'm just going to run over to the car that I want to take the modifications from. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in this purple buccaneer over here on the corner. And we're just going to hit the right on the D-pad to take it into the mod shop. There we go. All right, right D-pad. Come on. And it's going to take us in the mod shop. Now once we're in the mod shop, we can just go ahead and hit circle and then go down to exit the vehicle. And we just want to leave this car in here. Okay. So from here, we want to run over to the car that we now want to put the modifications on. So I'm going to take this low cost here, low cost, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to get in the driver's side. Now, my friend that is now glitched out, he is going to get into the passenger side. Mm -hmm. Once he gets in the passenger side, I can go ahead and get out, and he will slide over, and now he can drive the car. So he's going to drive the car just over here, as you see in the second picture, just right up to the end of this kind of orange circle, or orange box I should say, just before the white box, okay? You don't want to go too far or the cars will despawn. So you want to park it right before that box. Now we want to get into a vehicle that we can use to push. So a good vehicle to use for this is a Comet Safari, a Night Shark, an Insurgent, something like that with a little bit of power that's going to be able to move these. So same as before, we're going to get in the driver's side and our passenger our friend is going to get in the passenger side, we're going to get out, and he will slide over. Now we want to get back into the car that was in the mod shop, and just open up the brakes or armor menu, and then we're just going to sit there. Now we don't want to do nothing, we're just going to sit there. Now our friend is going to go ahead and take that Comet Safari, Night Shark, whichever, 
and he's going to push the car into the mod shop that we want to put the modifications on. So he just wants to push it back here. It doesn't matter how far, but just push it kind of where that orange square will be. And then he's going to push you out in the car that the mods are already on. So we're just swapping cars here, basically. Okay. So you're still in that brake menu or that armor menu. You're staying there the whole time. And you want to stay there until he successfully pushes you all the way out past the orange box. You want to be as far as possible. So I'm going to push him all the way back past the orange box. And then we are almost done. Okay. So we're pushing, pushing, pushing. Takes a while. This is the only part. I mean, it's a little tedious, obviously. Even the glitching out part. This isn't the best car to car we've had, but you know what? It's better than nothing. At least we got something. So there we go. So now he's far enough away. He's pushed right back past that orange box. Now our friend's part is done for now. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to back out of the armor menu now. And we just want to go ahead and repair the vehicle. Okay. So I'm still showing him push me from the other angle now. That's fine. There he is. He's done. So we're going to hit circle. We're going to go to repair vehicle. Now we just want to change one modification. So we can just downgrade the brakes or the armor and then re-upgrade them. Then we're going to hit circle and go to exit the vehicle. Now we want to get back into our original vehicle. Now this part you should be familiar with. This is the same as the solo method. We're going to hold options. And as we let go of options, we're going to hit left on the D-pad. Now, if done correctly, the car is going to be sent back to the parking spot, and we are going to get out of the car just like this, okay? So you always want to kind of test the options first, which I did there. So you hold the options, let go, kind of see what timing it takes before your guy gets out of the car. If you do it, unfortunately, too quick, then you have to start over. You're going to have to have your friend push the cars again. But if you hit it right, it'll happen just like that. Your guy is going to start running kind of all glitched out. All you want to do is go to first person and then double tap your joysticks and that will get you unglitched. Now, as you see, if we go back to the parking spot, our car is now fully merged. It is that simple. So from here, all we need to do is get right on the D-pad to bring it back into the mod shop. And then let's go ahead and change one thing on it. So again, you can change the armor, the brakes, whichever. Change your license plate. Doesn't matter. Just make one change to go ahead and save it. And you are good. So this is the first one that I've done. So in the background, I'm actually going to fully upgrade it. But that's it, guys. That is the new Car to Car Arena merge. I will leave, obviously, the founders down below, which is Lost Glitches and Cole Harrison, a.k.a. Ben. Those are the founders, so big shout out to them. So take advantage, of the, uh, take advantage of it this weekend while you can. Now, also, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter yet, make sure you do at Stella Crew Gaming minus the G, as I will be doing another giveaway here pretty soon as well. We are close to 6K followers now here, or subscribers here on YouTube. So we're going to do another giveaway. And so I'm thinking about doing either another controller or possibly a wireless headset. I have done a poll on Twitter, which does have one day left. So go ahead and vote for which one you want. I also put some G Fuel on there. So a G Fuel tube, tub, whatever you want to call it. Um, wireless controller, a wireless headset. And there was one more thing I also said on there, which I cannot remember now. But make sure you go ahead and put your vote in so you can have a say in what we do give away next. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. Stay tuned for more content like this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you want to become a channel member, right down below to the left of the subscribe button, you can now become a channel member and get additional perks like private gift cards to friend sessions, discounts on my Aquaway Beach gear, and uh, we will be doing some tweaks to that as well as we do get more members. All right, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Until then, this is your boy SCG, and I'm out.